Elon Musk is a phenomenal business tycoon who proved that unique, innovative ideas could be turned into reality. While doing so, he built an empire. And the Tesla Gigafactory in Shanghai has its charm and production records. The team is brewing some new bold plans for the export hub. Excited to know more about this? Welcome to Tech United, a place where we bring tech and people closer together. Are you excited enough? What are you waiting for? Subscribe, like, share, and click on the notification bell to get the latest news and updates on Tesla, Apple, SpaceX, and more. In today's video, let's take a look at Tesla's new plan for an export hub and what's happening at the Tesla Gigafactory in Shanghai. Compared to many other EV manufacturers, Tesla is believed to be ahead of the competition by 10 years. On top of that, Tesla's Gigafactory in Shanghai looks poised to play a more dominant role after the electric vehicle manufacturers moved its export hub from Fremont, California to Shanghai, China. If we look into the production records Tesla has achieved so far, we can conclude that it's all thanks to Tesla's Gigafactories. The one in Shanghai, China, as we said earlier, has its charm. The factory has boosted production even though supply chain challenges have been prominent these past few months. According to news reports, Tesla is to invest a whopping $188 million or 1.2 billion yuan in expanding the factory capacity in Shanghai. So, it will allow the team to employ 4,000 more workers at the site. That is, the total employment capacity will move to the 19,000 limits. However, the increase in production capacity is not yet revealed. According to Tesla and its owner Elon Musk, the factory in China was designed to produce about 500,000 cars a year. At present, the factory has the capacity to manufacture Model 3 and Model Y of Tesla EVs at a rate of 450,000 total units a year, which is quite impressive. The regulatory pressure related to concerns such as consumer disputes over the inspection and how the company handles data and safety of the product have doubled over time. However, the demand hasn't gone down and the sales are surging despite all these disputes. What did Tesla do to let the dust settle? The company assured that they had built a separate data center and a research center in Shanghai to store the data locally, efficiently. That's one reason why the demand remains the same. Did you know that the Tesla factory in China is wholly owned by the company and is the only foreign car plant in the country exempt from being regulated by a joint venture? All told, let's know more about the factory that is set to transform into a vast export hub. Like it sounds, the expansion is planned to enable mass production. The factory's welding, painting, stamping and assembly workshop are connected to minimize the logistics path to improve efficiency. Elon himself has stated once that Tesla's gigafactories would become products themselves, and Tesla China seems to have taken those words to heart with Giga Shanghai. Tesla's sales figures from December in China hit another record and conclude that about half of Tesla's deliveries and production came from the Gigafactory in Shanghai. And it's evident that the output at the Shanghai factory had overtaken the California factory. Last year, during the second quarter earnings reveal, the EV makers announced that it had made the Shanghai factory its primary vehicle export hub. It was stated that the action was taken due to the increase in demand seen in the US and also due to the global average cost optimization. The factory started its delivery for the first time at the end of 2019. It's currently manufacturing Tesla's Model 3 sedans and Model Y sport utility vehicles for Europe, Chinese markets, and beyond. The Shanghai port comprises a river port and a deep sea port. The Shanghai International Port Group is the leading port enterprise in the capital that was established during the reconstitution of the Port Authority. Also, companies including Waigao Kiao Bonded Zone Port Co. and Shanghai Port Container Co. were involved in the development. The Shanghai port is reckoned as one of the four port cities in the world known as a large port megacity, thanks to its large urban population and high volumes of port traffic. Now, we have an insight into the Shanghai port and its significance. So when Elon Musk first announced about setting up the Tesla Gigafactory in Shanghai a couple of years ago, many skeptics claimed that it would never happen. But look where the team is now. The production unit is highly productive and has so far achieved outstanding records. 
In a nutshell, building the factory in Shanghai was a significant milestone for the team, which helped the company gain a foothold in China. Considering that China is known to be the world's largest market for EVs, we can conclude that a significant portion of Tesla's sales came from this unit. Other than that, a local factory would greatly help accelerate the deliveries and separate the venture from trade wars between China and the US. Did you know that the gigafactories in Berlin, Shanghai, and Texas are built in phases? Why is it done so? The team thrives on manufacturing immediately inside the finished parts of the factory, and the expansion will be carried out after that. It's a great way to accelerate production, increase sales figures, and manage profits efficiently. Even though Tesla's Shanghai factory was initially set to produce vehicles only based on local demands, the unit has surprised the rest of the world by ramping up the production at the plant. So, they could start exporting vehicles from the factory to other markets, hence causing a reduction in the exportation load from the California factory. So the California factory can also focus on meeting local demands now. Looking into the recent updates, it seems like the EV manufacturers have begun the new year with a bang. The Tesla factory in Texas has now started the production of refreshed Model Y, and it's expected to begin in the next 7 to 10 days. According to reports, the company is now focused on increasing its production capacity. They are also building two new factories on two different continents. However, the production at two existing plants, i.e. Shanghai and California factories, have increased significantly. Earlier this week, the China Passenger Car Association, or CPCA, revealed its sales figures for December, setting a new record. Tesla sold 70,847 EVs produced in China. A significant portion of it was sold in China itself, and only 245 units were exported to other regions. In the beginning, the factory produced vehicles for Asia and Europe. The factory started making EVs for the Chinese market in the final quarter. So, the 70,847 units produced adds up to a total of 473,068 vehicles sold or coming from China in 2021. So, it's roughly half of the 936,000 EVs Tesla delivered last year. Out of 473,000 EVs, about 160,000 vehicles were exported to markets other than China. With that, we have come to the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to our channel and make sure to turn on the post notifications so that you always get notified whenever we post a new video. Till then, keep watching. We will see you guys in the next one. If you liked today's video about what's happening at Tesla Gigafactory Shanghai, you might want to watch our leaked Tesla Phone Pi Specs versus iPhone 13 Pro on the left, or Game Changer, amazing technologies that will change our life on the right.